Hi there guys, um, so basically I've got a SB800, well, one of the many, <laughs> and um, it's been broken for quite a few months now, once I've dropped it on a, on a job, and I just went down with a with stun basically, and I think the flash tube is broken inside, because when I switch it on, which I don't want to do now, because it's been empty of batteries for the last two or three months, so it's going to be discharged, the capacitor inside, so basically when I switch it on, it won't flash and it looks like the, the tube inside is uh, broken. So for that reason, I bought uh, a flash tube for the SB800 from uh, from eBay. This one here. Um, and it costs about £5.50 per postage, which is about 7 quid together. Um, so it's relatively cheap if you want to do a bit of DIY instead of you know, sending it away for fixation with some other company, which will charge you probably about 120 30 quid. So yeah, I bought that, which comes in a little box like this, nicely bubble wrapped, so you know it's not damaging whatsoever. Um, so yeah, that's 550 from eBay. You can find it anywhere. Uh, I might as well put a link so you can find it if you need be. Uh, so yeah, that's what it is. Buy that flash tube. You need a solder, some soldering iron, solder, and then just do the job. Um, and yeah, make sure that the the capacitor inside inside the flash is uh, discharged. You can either discharge it with a, with you know, like short it, which I wouldn't recommend really, I've been told, uh, as it can explode if it's full of power, or you can just leave it uh, without batteries for a few months, so it will be discharged completely, so you're not going to get zapped, which will be quite a big of, you know, a big zap if you, if you do it, because it's got a few thousand volts inside. So what you're going to do first is, you've got screws under the two sides so if you just take peel the uh, two rubber circles off from from each side which basically covers off the four screws you've got four screws on each each side and you also have two screws on the top as well um, so you, you have four screws on, on the left four on the right and you've got two screws on the top over here as well um, all you've got to do is unscrew them so I might as well do that now so once you've got the, the bits unscrewed from each side uh, I just skipped it because it probably makes it faster for the video so once you've got the, the screws up from each side and from the top as well uh, the whole part should come off gently then you can remove the glass the front one that one there and then there's another piece of glass as well which comes out which is that one here and then you'll have two screws on the top basically they are two small have them well small like shiny bars metal bits that actually do the zooming for you so when you're zooming from 24 mil to 105 mil I think so that moves your the reflector inside so um, you've got two screws on the top which will come out uh, that you need a Phillips for that one so they will come out from there that's one you will take the second out as well which will be oops, two and then you also have two screws on the bottom you take those out as well okay so once you've got that your whole compartment from the inside should just come out gently they should slide out just like that and then the bottom part comes off as well so what you end up with now is the uh, the actual flash head well the inside of the flash head just like that and uh, you can see well I'm not sure if you can see because I'm, uh, I'm not sure how sharp my video is but you can see that the actual flash tube is broken inside so if I pull that one out, you can see the, the two sides of the flash tube. There you go, that's the, the broken bit there, which I need to replace. Okay, so what I've done is I've cut the two broken ends of the uh, flash tube off from the wires that come from the capacitor. Basically, these are the two wires that uh, give the power to the flash tube. You know, once you have the camera either on, on on the top of your, I mean, have the flash on top of your camera. So when you when you fire it, 
this is where the power comes through from the main capacitor. Uh, so I cut these off just because they're pain in the ass to get them off because uh, you have to melt them off with a soldering iron. So I just cut them off because there's plenty of iron left. So all I have to do now is um, solder these two on. So you got the pink and the white wire, you got the new flash tube, so that will just solder on and then you just slide it back into the place where it has to be and uh, hopefully simple as that so yeah that's what I'm gonna do now I solder these on and hopefully it will be all good to go the flash tube to be connected on each side which will be probably the most difficult part of the whole process so um, I grab it on one end I'm going to use, a, use some pliers in case I get a shock from any power left in the, in the tube. So I'll try to connect these now. Let's see if it works out. Okay. I think I could do with better soldering skills in here. Okay, so we've got the first two bits soldered together. Now we just need the last part, which is on the pink wire. So I'll solder that as well. If it works, let's see. It should do the job, really. Right. There we go. Right, so that's all together now. So we've got the new flash tube inside, and what we need to do. Okay, so as we said before, the flash tube is back together now. That's fine. Right, um, we've got a few pieces to put back together. There's a small switch on the back of the flash head that basically um, switches the, the zoom you know when you bring the the little white car to do your bounce flash if you bring that one out basically it switches this little guy in here and all it does is makes your flash go to automatically 24 millimeter on the head so it gives you the widest possible uh, spread of light which you can of course override when you zoom back out again if you like so we need to put this little switch back there just like I did now so that's uh, one thing um, yeah, it's a bit complicated with all the wiring but we'll get there so you grab the first switch that is down there. So that goes down. You've got two screws holding it to place. Ah. It's a little difficult, a little difficult, but it will be good.
I mean, you could possibly leave this switch out if you like, but I think it's quite nice to have it back as it was originally. So if it looks back in, you just give us a click, slide out, that's it, smashing. Right, so you grab your Phillips with one of the little screws in here. Um, so let's grab the Phillips screwdriver and there we go. in there just like that grab the other screw as well now the, there's a really tiny tiny screw that holds it in place it's probably about two millimeters long Put the screw in there as well. Okay, try this again. There we go. Oops. It's a bit difficult to place the screws in. Right, we've got it now. Good. So there you go, just to show it to you, that is the little switch I'm talking about on the back of the flash head. So we've got that in. So we've got, the last thing we need to do is put the uh, the sides, I mean the cover back onto the flash, the, the flash head. So um, we've got the screws that goes into one, two, three, four holes on the left, one, two, three, four holes on the right. Whoops, that was the, the front glass coming out. Just slide it back in as it should be. There we go, that's cool. So I'm just going to put the top cover here. And then the bottom goes on just like that, snaps together. Looks good so far. That's it. Okay. So just hold it together. Grab the screws one by one. There's another hole. That goes in there. One more screw to that side, just like that. Very nice. And then, if you're lucky, you've got some adhesive left on the side, the one here. So, that's the push button, which should go just back in there. Let's see if it does stick on it. There you go. That's one of them. You can also just put it underneath the edge of the plastic so it will stay in. Just like that. I think you will need a bit more glue to make it stay in position and then what we need now is we just need to get the screws so once once you've put the screws back in you've got the rubber side on the left you just put it push it right back in you've got loads of glue on the side so that's good and then you've got the other one um, that goes on this side there you've got that is loaded in now shoot on power back in does it flash? And it does work. There we go. The new flash is ready to go. Simple.